Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of Tsukihime. When last we left off, Shiki was having, well, delusions. Kind of. Kind of. Kind of, kind of, kind of. And my chair squeaks. Uh, um, and he, he fell asleep. What exactly is it that he said? Yeah, he actually does say he closes, with his eyes still closed, he fell asleep. And, well, Sh Shiki's last little bit relating to dreams has been, let's just say, a bit unpleasant for him, hasn't it? Just a little. Just a little. Anyway, let's get back into it, shall we? Ah, I've come here again. The dark basement. The smell of mold emanating from the darkness. The schools, probably the gem's basement. The dispersed celluloid mannequin. No, the pieces of half-eaten people. He's... Even though it's this early, it has brought yet another doll. Oh, I'm going to have to censor stuff, aren't I? Hmm, that's annoying. The animalistic breathing. That's not helping my headache. Pan, pan, pan. The figure bites into the doll. The feeling of teeth breaking the skin. The fat of the abdomen is not exactly what you can call grade A meat. The hot blood sticking to the throat. I feel a chill. All these sensations are completely transmitted to me. <laughs> you again, Shiki. It screams. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. It acts as a child, throwing a tantrum. Breaking all the desks and pulling off a piece of concrete from the floor. I'll kill you, I'll kill you, I'll kill you. Saying so. It thrusts a knife into its own hand. Keep. The pain of the knife is transmitted to my own hand. Just you watch, I will kill you. He then takes the leg of a broken desk and impales his own leg. G and I'll take back what you stole. Using his own claws, he rips open his stomach and starts to pull out his intestines. Reminds me of a new story that I heard mentioned again. I remember it at the time. I was in, uh, it was 2012 or like late 2012 or early 2013, I believe. Uh, actually, no, it would have been early. It would have been sometime in 2012. Um, with the whole bath salts thing, if anybody remembers that shit. Because I certainly kind of do, but it was mentioned on a podcast I listened to recently, and or I re-listened to old episodes, and it was mentioned. And, you know, that's where the dude was uh, throwing bits of his own intestine at police officers. You should look into that if you haven't. I remember looking into it at the time and being utterly amazed of what people can do. Uh, I don't know how true that is. I've never snoped, and I've not looked it up in years. But that's. Yeah, if, if you've got the time and you're into that sort of thing, like true crime stuff and just weird, gross, uh, uh, I can't even think of a way to pleasantly describe it, <laughs> just weird, gross shit like that, you know, look it up. It's an interesting story. The pain, pain. Pain, 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 okay, 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 game. I like that reading. It doesn't work that well speaking, unfortunately. These fingers, the skin, even these eyes. He pushes in his eyes. Isn't that the start of a slip knock song? Push my fingers into my eyes. It's the only thing that slowly stops the ache. Uh, oh god, what is it? I don't remember the rest of the lyrics of that song. It's been a while. I start to go crazy. A dream. If this is a dream, please wake up. It hurts. I'd rather die. 
This pain is enough to kill me from shock, but I am not dying. Your voice, your position, all of it is mine. It was all originally mine. Just you wait. I will kill you. I will come soon. Screaming. It takes a knife, brings it to its head, aims for the brain, and stabs deeply. Uh, I'm not going to yell. Sorry about that, but not going to happen. In the middle of the ultimate pain, I wake up. Uh, uh, a dream. That was a dream. But my body is hurting everywhere. Hand, thigh, eyes, skull. They all hurt. The pain I received during my dream, I have brought it back into reality. Uh, uh, but my body still can't move. Even though I feel like there's a hole ripped in my palm, I can't, I still can't move my body. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. At least, if I could move, I could thrash around and maybe reduce some of the agony, but I can't even do that. Damn it. What is this? Why, why do these things? Earlier, I thought my mind would break before my body would. Why do these things happen to me? But if I sleep, my body may very well break before my mind. That guy, what is he? That's someone who comes in my dreams. That's someone who knows me whose nerves become one with mine. The one who kills people every night. What's this? You won't admit it yet? Admit what? I am you. No way. You are the same as me. Doesn't denying your shadow lead to the shadow becoming stronger? At least that's what Persona taught me. No. I'm still sane. For the longest time, you have already been crazy. I told you, no. Shikisama? And, without a knock, he sui enters my room. He, sui? Shikisama, was that your voice just now? He sui walks to the bed with an urgent expression. Shikisama, what in the world? Hisui's voice is shaking. I look down. My sheets are soaked in blood. It looks like the blood came from my hand and my thigh. I say, looks like, because I just think so. Because there's no wounds on my body. So what's wrong is the fact that the blood is there. Hey, sweet chan, I will prepare an IV, so please watch over Shikisama, or Shikisan. Wait, Nissan, Shikisama is... Hey, sweet chan, don't you think it's best to listen to what your older sister has to say once in a while? Huh? Now, Shikisan, you're going to have a blood transfusion soon, so please relax until then. After taking care of me, Kohaku-san leaves the room. Sh Shikisama, is there really nothing wrong? Nesan told me not to worry, but all that blood. Pretty persistent, aren't you? I said there isn't anything wrong. I don't have any wounds. I'm the one with questions. Saying this roughly, I hate myself. I'm sorry for Hisui, but I can't calm down. There must be something wrong with me. If I sleep, I dream of the killer and hurt myself. I know that's the cause of bleeding. I know, but I can't tell Hisui or Kohaku-san that. They wouldn't believe me, and worse, 
they would think I have simply gone crazy. I'll admit, my body is weird. But Hisui, Kahaku-san, and Akia, I just don't want them to think I'm crazy. I do not want to say that. But Shiki-sama, your body is not working properly. You appear to have a fever and your breathing is wild. I, I do not wish to see you like that. Hisui swallows the rest of her sentence. I I'm fine. Go away. Thanks for worrying about me, but I just want to be alone for now. Then, is there something you want? If you are thirsty, please tell me and I can bring you something. S something I want. Something I want. I don't really want anything right now. Yeah, I am certainly thirsty. Yes, thirsty. Really thirsty. So I must suck. Blah, blah. Red. Drink. That sticky fluid that sticks to my throat. Hot crimson red blood that is still warm. That's what I want right now. Uh. Shikisama? Something I want. Of course there's something I want. That is, Yisui's body I saw in my dream. <sighs> Smack. I hit myself in the head. The arms that I couldn't move before was able to be moved out of pure hatred for myself. Hopefully that little flash there uh, isn't recorded because it actually, for some reason, the effects of this are actually recorded, are actually played in 60 FPS and skipping the frames. It seemed like whenever I went through and looked at the uh, last one. Um, uh, so hopefully it won't pick it up. And I don't know why it records the effect or plays the effects at 60 FPS. I don't know if it did that at the time or if that's because of uh, modern systems or it's just an interesting little tidbit of. Uh, uh, what is it, Owen Scripter? I think. Um, I don't know, it's weird because the rest of this is 30 FPS as far as I can tell. And, you know, I'm only recording at 30 FPS anyway, but still. <sighs> Just weird little fun facts about the engine that this is built in. An engine that is, from everything that I've read, is <laughs> really not very good. Though apparently you can't even run it on your. Uh, uh, mobile phone, Android phones, probably iPhones as well. If there's a, if there's an uh, a cracked or a jailbreak app for that, but I don't know. I don't follow iPhone development or anything like that because I don't like iPhone. <laughs> Just preference. I, I don't know. I like the uh, variety that you can get with Android stuff, and uh, I've had issues with Apple in the past. Uh, personal stuff that I've gotten from them, I've owned from them that I've had. Ah. Uh, Memories it was like over 10 years ago. <laughs> uh, how time flies. Sigh. Shikisama? What is wrong, Shikisama? Don't come near me. Shikisama? I breathe painfully. My throat is burning. My body is burning. There's something wrong with me. There's something wrong with me. There's something wrong with me. Yeah, me too. What was I just thinking? Don't come near me. If you do, I, I don't know what I will do. But, Jiki-sama, I told you not to come near me. I'm not crazy. You're the one that's crazy? All you wanted was a Pepsi? Is that it, Shiki? Huh? I scream, refusing Hisui's help. I'm uh, super loopy. I've, I have a really bad headache. And I've taken the medicine for it. And my medicine makes me loopy as shit. So, fun. But if I don't do so, I will violate Hisui for sure. Like that time in my dream. Being controlled by my pulse through my veins. Just leave. Hisui, you don't understand anything about my body. Yes, 
as you were Shikisama. Hisui leaves. As she leaves, I stare at her with hazy vision. My excited body thinks about the same thing no matter who I saw. When Ikohaku-san came to give me the transfusion, I had the urge to stick my teeth in her white throat. It's a cradle of filth song about that too, I think, is it a soft white throat? I, I can't retain my sanity unless I'm alone. So I made Hisui and Kohaku-san, even Akia, go out of my room. The result doesn't change. If I am alone, all I can do is break. I get a headache. I stay awake. The headache flows into me. Before I go crazy, I close my eyes to sleep. But then, if I sleep, I will dream about him. A little bit of information about the visual novel and my personal preferences and what's going on. Um, the past few scenes, uh, whenever Shiki really started going crazy in bed, basically, um, up to, well, a certain point in the story that we'll get there. Absolutely adore the scenes. I love the way that it kind of illustrates Shiki uh, losing his mind and going insane. It's great. It's not as good as one other scene in Kohaku's route, which is my absolute favorite scene in the entire visual novel, but these are up there. These are really good scenes. Um, I don't know if I'm able to get across the quality, the level of insanity and mind break that Shiki's feeling. I, I, I hope I'm doing at least an okay job. It, it's great. It is fantastic. Every time he inflicts pain on his body, I also feel the physical pain. Uh, that pain causes me to wake up. But as soon as I do, the splitting pain in my head returns. So I close my eyes and I fall asleep again. And I repeat this process. I go into a light sleep and wake up from the pain of getting my brain stabbed through. Breathing is painful. I gasp for air. My limbs won't move, but they shake from the pain. I have no sense of time. An hour feels like infinity. Truthfully, I, I don't even think that I will be able to maintain my sanity until morning. Love the song. The door opens with a creak. I know the music in this is very simplistic compared to a lot of stuff, but I actually think it really helps in that simplicity. But you know, I like a lot of different kinds of music and new and old and blah, 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 blah. Uh, and I think the music in this really works really well. And something, uh, I don't know, a soundtrack with more detail I don't think would work. If I re do remember correctly, this is the... Uh, later soundtrack, I think that's the one that I installed on this version, um, where they uh, added a few more instruments and fixed some of the looping, I, if I recall. Uh, I don't remember. I've only heard this version of the soundtrack, and I've not looked too much into it. I'm just being told that this one is better, that it fixes some of the issues with tracks, but there is a lot of volume and consistency still, but whatever. But still, the, the soundtrack in this visual novel works very, very well. Um, Especially with, say, uh, track seven. Let's just, if he will know the soundtrack of this, or you can look it up. Track seven's great. I'll just leave it at that. The sound of approaching footsteps. I'm half asleep, and I can't tell exactly who it is. Nissan, you look so exhausted. She sounds like she's crying. I'm so sorry. You're in this much pain, but there is nothing I can do. The weight of fingers. This is the only thing that I can do, Nissan. Akia wraps her fingers in mine. Throb, throb, throb. Matching the sound of my IV, Akia's body temperature flows into me. Warm. 
It feels like my rotten wall of consciousness got rebuilt by just that. Hold on, Nissan. I will save you soon. Her fingers separate. The sound of footsteps goes away. The door closes. In my half asleep, I saw that strange dream. Well, it's a little bit early, but I think I'm going to end the episode here because it's, well, it's a new day. Uh, oh, God. Uh, other Cradle of Phil song. Uh, the Fetus of a New Day Kicking. Right. That one. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's a new day. And Akia did something. We should have a basic idea of what she did because of our knowledge of the other routes, uh, previous routes that we've gone through already. Um, but she's not exactly done anything like that before. Not, not that I can remember anyway. Well, my memory's not great, but still, it's, that's interesting. So, did she do something, or is that just Chiki's feelings? Is, did she give us something? Did she impart something in us? Or, again, is it just Shiki's feeling and the warmth of another's touch, the feelings of love from his sister? Oh, and for his sister and in this route not in that way it is mm, i'm not going to say purely platonic at least not for Lakia's end uh but it, it, mostly platonic you can go with that but what what did she do what that will that have a significance i mean it will have some it was a the end of a day so of course it was an important scene but what kind of significance will it have well Find that out next time in Tsukihime. I hope to see you all there.